for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBank UT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Poodle back, and today we got another Madden Ultimate Team video. So something pretty crazy happened this morning, or even expected if you know how Madden works. So today they dropped the new Combine program, and as per usual, they always find a way to mess up, but in a way that benefits us. But they're always also quick to work on it. So as of now, I'm not sure how profitable this still is, but highly recommend you see exactly what I'm doing and you go check it out. Or go on Twitter and check it out and see how what everyone's saying about it. But for me, look at all the scouts I made. I started at about 16,000 scouts, went up to about 38,000 scouts, and then went back to about 31,000 scouts. So I made, I, and other people I've read, 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 I've read already have made about like, they've used 2,000 scouts and went up to about 60,000 scouts. Some people, but I started later. I just wanted to make a video real quick while, it's, while I still have a chance to see maybe this is still working. A lot of people have been able to literally turn one to 2,000 scouts into. 100,000 scouts. It is crazy. This is right now the best coin making method in the game. Don't quote me on it just yet. I'm going to show you guys how it works and then you let me and then you can either test it for yourself, try the waters, see what people are saying about it. I'm not sure if it's patched. Not sure yet, but if you check over to browser store and you go to scouts used here. This set right here. Just like it was in the Super Bowl playoff promo and other promos in the past. So you open this set. Okay, so the way it works, if you get an 86 or 87, you either sell and take the loss, or you hold on some and throw them into the set. Or anything above 88, 89, 91, 90, 92, you can pretty much just quick sell and make more scouts. Now, could you throw them into the set and make the full player? Yes. Or you can just keep quick sell and keep building scouts. It's the fast way to do it. So I was doing that. I went to about 38,000 scouts, and I could actually have more if I go show you how many I pulled. So I would say I made roughly 20,000 scouts, and then I lost about 8,000 scouts, but I made the 20 on top of that. And if you look here, these are the remaining ones that I haven't sold because they're probably more profitable if I just... I'm thinking, should I use the scouts to create a full player and sell that off? And then sell these separately? Or would I be better off just saving the scouts in case there's a blitz or something? And the players go up in price a lot. Like, I, I don't know what the move is here. So, that's just that's just one thing that's going through my head. A little quick, quick thought process. But, definitely, definitely very profitable. And if I sell all of these, I'm sure you guys the price they're going for. 12k. Okay, they went down a little bit from 15, but still it doesn't matter. If I sell these, I'll say I can sell them for about 14k. 14, 14 times 5, 7. So 14 times 7 is about 70. About about 89. No, 98k. Just about 98k. So that's really good. 98k on top of 31,000. So that's like another 500k. So about about 600k roughly is what I just made. That's pretty pretty good. And if I had gotten a little earlier and I got this going and make this video, I probably could have easily made a lot more. But, you know, trying to get this out for you guys and just give me your opinion on it. And let me show you guys the set I was talking about while I'm still going through this. This set right here. So the way this was working, if you guys haven't seen it already or have no idea what I'm talking about. So this set right here, what you do is you'd keep the 90, you'd, keep, you'd, you'd sell the 90s, keep selling the 90s, and start filling out these sets with the 86s that you had left over. And then, when you got the extra 90s, you throw them in there, you'd finish the set, and then you'd have all the extra scouts on top of that, and then you just kept going and going and going. Now, was I was going to do it, but I think I'd be better off. I think, yeah, I think I was just better off taking the scouts like I did, and then just trying to work it from there. So it's my thought process, at least. This set is, seemed to be pretty profitable. Let me see how much these 92s are going for. So Kenyon Drake's going for about 90k. I had about four of him. If I had sold them, it would have been 90, let's go with 90k times 4, which should be about 360k. Yeah, it was pretty good. Maybe I should even just, you can even possibly just sell them. Just sell, sell them individually. That might have even been a better way to make coins than taking the scouts, to be honest. You can do the math now. I, I think actually right now, as of now, selling them individually as you get them would be the best way to make coins. I probably could have made I could probably could have made another shorter K doing that now that I think about it. I mean once I sell these 86s, it'll still be a similar effect. But that's the basis of that. Now, just before I get out on on out of here, just my one thing to just mention real quick is that I'm thinking there will be a blitz promo. Pretty sure there should be a blitz promo or some kind of really good set that you're gonna need scouts for. So I recommend maybe holding on to scouts if you have some. I wouldn't go out and buy them now because they're a bit on the more expensive side as people were trying to do this glitch. But definitely hold on to some scouts because if they do drop a blitz, you will need them. They will be necessary. So I might hold on to these 31,000. Might sell some other stuff. Might just hold on to them just in case of a blitz. There should be a blitz. There usually is. And then eventually there will be more players coming out throughout the week. 
Hopefully in Odell. I don't know how Odell doesn't have... I mean, Odell and Byron Jones have to be getting a combine card, is my, is my imagine. It's my assumption. It has to be one. So, that's the thought process on that. Now, if there is a Blitz promo, what to expect? As you guys know, there'll probably be Platinum Packs, um, some Fire Fantasy Packs, some Limited Time Packs, some Training Packs, a Power Pass. All very useful stuff. Most of them are profitable, especially those Platinum Packs. So, get the alt accounts ready. Get the farm accounts ready. Get the Scouts and Coins ready. Because this could be a very profitable time in Madden, as it usually is, leading up to what is after this, the Easter promo. So, which should be another blitz. So, there's still a lot of ways to make coins. And, again, make sure to check before you follow through with anything I just said in this video. Because if it is patched by the time you guys are seeing this video, I can't account for that. Because I made this at this time when it was still very valid. And I, I just showed you guys I did it. So, just saying, just one little tip before you go into anything. Whatever, whenever you see a coin making method, you always check it yourself. Because... If I make coin ma a coin making method in the morning, right? And at the time, cars are going for 30k, so it's a profit. But when you go to do it, they're all going for 24k. That little 6k difference, every car that you sell could make the difference of it not being profitable anymore. So just always check, always do your math. That's a very important thing for anything in, in life. Just always do your math and make sure it makes sense to you. Because if it doesn't make sense to you, you're not going to be happy with the result if it doesn't come out right. But if it makes sense to you and it doesn't come out right, at least you did it and you understand why it happened or why it didn't happen. But nothing's worse than losing all your coins and like, I don't get what I just did. But that's pretty much it. And that new Christian McCaffrey looks like a beast. Kind of want him. He might have to replace his Perry Sanders. That's just my thoughts on that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And also, if you haven't already, go drop the sub down below. We're now at 255 subscribers. That's awesome. In only a month and a half. I'm loving all the support, guys. Also, we just got new channel graphics. By the time you're seeing this, I might have the new YouTube banner. I got the new logo. Dro comment down below what you guys think of my new uh, graphics on Twitter. If you don't know, if you don't have me on Twitter, go poodle underscore gaming underscore. It should be in the description below. Has been in almost every video. Go drop the follow there. Got all the new graphics. My designer, Chase Delve, did a very amazing job on a lot of this stuff. And I really appreciate it. He did a great job. Very creative. And I let him handle it all because creativity is not always my, my forte when it comes to that. I'm too indecisive. So, did an amazing job. If you like it, comment down below your opinion of it, what you think. Also... Comment down below how many coins you make if you did do this or if you already knew about it before my video. And, um, yeah, drop the sub. Make sure to comment, like, and go check out my Twitch because I stream about five times a week. All right, I'm out. See you guys later.